Can you share a case study with us in which a business was able to successfully change their business goals and strategies in order to level the playing field and not really exploit others in the process? So I very much like the uh, economics of mutuality work that Mars Incorporated has been doing over the last number of years. And that's based on, on the idea that uh, the community's human and social capital should also be increased while the business is being done and the increases in financial capital should be shared uh, between the company and, and a number of uh, stakeholders uh, like suppliers and so on. About five years ago, the Mars Rigley division in uh, Kenya and Eastern Africa tried a pilot project of something that has really been done. They wanted to address the bottom of the pyramid consumers. So they, they went where uh, most multinationals wouldn't go, into the urban slums of Nairobi, into small rural villages, and they were trying to create a new channel to market for their chewing gum products. And they had a factory in Kenya. They would work through uh, the factory and a, uh, and a master distributor who would just deliver to, to standard retail locations. But this was a total different game plan. What they basically did was to get people in these poor communities to be uh, the deliverers of the product, uh, literally people on bicycles. They helped them to get micro loans to buy bicycles. They would pick chewing gum up every day from stocking points. They would sell it to the smallest hawkers and, 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 and vendors. And they built a whole ecosystem around this. They involved NGOs, they involved citizens' organizations, they did training. Um, and it, there were a lot of moving parts to this, but the great news story is it was a great success that uh, some of these people at bicycles started buying motorcycles because they had more deliveries to do. They allowed them to carry other products. They weren't being, uh, you know, ex overly exclusive. So, so people remained loyal. And in the end, it opened up a multi-million dollar new market for them that they didn't have before.